Right now, the National Park Service is looking for a missing Maine man. Stephen Coleman of Portland was last seen on December 20th of last year. He was on the south rim of the Grand Canyon, according to the Park Service. The Grand Canyon Rangers are asking anyone who may have seen or talked to Coleman to call or text the National Park Service investigative branch tip line. Millions of people visit the Grand Canyon each year to take in its history and wonder. With so many footprints around the park, unfortunately, the Grand Canyon has also seen its fair share of tragedy, including some cases that remain unsolved decades later. In the heart of the Kaibab National Forest, not far from the breathtaking Grand Canyon, a mystery unfolded on a fateful summer day in 2001. Justin Richardson, a young adventurer with a penchant for exploring the wild, vanished into thin air, leaving behind a chilling trail that would haunt the forest for years to come. On that ill-fated day, Justin was joined by three close friends for a hiking expedition into the forest depths. They were bound by a shared love for the outdoors and an unbreakable bond of camaraderie. However, the adventure took a treacherous turn when two of their companions inadvertently strayed from the path, plunging the group into disarray. Concerned for the safety of their lost friends, Justin and his remaining companion decided to seek help. They encountered another individual amidst the dense wilderness, a stranger with a rugged demeanor. Urgently, they implored him to search for their missing friends while they headed to Tusion, a nearby town, to alert the authorities. Hours passed as the search and rescue efforts unfolded, finally locating the two lost hikers, shaken but unharmed. However, during the chaotic events that followed, Justin seemingly vanished without a trace. News of the missing hiker had yet to reach his ears when he disappeared into the labyrinth expanse of the Kaibab National Forest. Justin's relationship with the forest was not that of a novice. He had traversed these woods numerous times, each expedition a testament to his resilience and familiarity with the terrain. However, a shadow of intrigue lurked beneath the surface of his disappearance. Justin had a history of running away, and speculation mounted that he might have chosen to vanish once more, hitchhiking his way out of the wilderness. Rumors swirled that he might have been headed to Chicago, Illinois, driven by the desire to reunite with a girlfriend waiting for him there. But the authorities held a different, more ominous theory. They suspected foul play a sinister twist that Justin may have unwittingly encountered shortly after disappearing into the forest depths. As days turned into weeks and weeks into months, investigators meticulously combed through the tangled web of clues and cryptic hints left behind. They interviewed witnesses, delved into Justin's past, and scoured the forest for any signs of his presence. But the forest, known for its majestic beauty, seemed to guard its secrets fiercely. The question hung in the air like a heavy fog. What happened to Justin Richardson in the depths of the Kaibab National Forest that summer day? Was he indeed a runaway, escaping the tumult of his life for the allure of the city lights? Or had he encountered something far more sinister beneath the canopy of ancient trees the forest, with its whispering leaves and shadowy recesses, held the key to the riddle, a mystery that beckoned for answers as elusive as the mists that cloaked its secrets. Justin Richardson's disappearance would forever remain a chilling enigma, a tale of a young man who vanished into the wilderness, leaving behind a haunting question mark in the annals of the Grand Canyon State. In the annals of unexplained mysteries, the strange disappearance of Drake Lyons Kramer 
on February 1, 2015, near Bright Angel Lodge on the south rim of the Grand Canyon National Park, Arizona, continues to cast an eerie shadow over the breathtaking landscape. Drake, a 21-year-old geology student from San Antonio, Texas, had enrolled at the University of Texas, setting his sights on a future filled with rocks, minerals, and the intrigue of the Earth's hidden treasures. But on that ominous day, he embarked on a journey that would plunge him into the depths of the unknown. On the evening of February 1, 2015, Drake was last seen near Bright Angel Lodge, a place teeming with tourists and hikers, eager to embrace the gander of the Grand Canyon. He left behind his trusty 2007 Mazda, a white centennial that would remain as a silent witness to his vanishing act. Drake's parents, Robin and Brenda Kramer, reported him missing the following day. Their voices tinged with worry and despair. What makes this disappearance even more perplexing is the cryptic text message that Drake sent to his family just before his mysterious exit from the world's most iconic natural wonder. In the message, he wrote, he had to give his body to Mother Earth, a phrase that left his family bewildered and deeply concerned for his well-being. It was a stark departure from his usual demeanor, a puzzling piece that refused to fit into the larger picture of his life. According to his family, Drake had set out on an unexpected journey, first to California and then onward to the Grand Canyon. Their last encounter with him had been on January 29th when they enjoyed a movie together, noting that he appeared to be in high spirits. However, the notion of Drake traveling to such places alone, in itself, an anomaly. He had frequented the Grand Canyon area two or three times before, always accompanied by friends or companions who shared his passion for the outdoors. This inexplicable disappearance prompted an extensive search operation involving park rangers and dedicated search and rescue teams. The search stretched from the Western Hermit's Rest to the Eastern Grand's View, covering a span of six days. Yet, despite the relentless efforts, the canyon refused to yield its secrets. The Grand Canyon, with its deceptive terrain, concealed Drake's whereabouts with a tenacious grip. The rugged landscape, although captivating, posed formidable challenges. The searchers navigated treacherous terrain, their boots crunching over rocks and gravel, their path marked by the shade of canyon walls and the whispering secrets in the ancient forest. Despite the favorable weather conditions, with daytime temperatures in the 60s, the search remained elusive. Down there, beneath the rim's flat expanse, lay a labyrinth of obstacles, from fallen trees to stubborn shrubs and rocky outcroppings that defied discovery. As time passed, questions multiplied. Had Drake's cryptic message been a veiled reference to his desire to escape into the wilderness, to surrender to the call of the great outdoors? Or was there something more sinister, lurking within the confines of the Grand Canyon's embrace? Something that had swallowed him whole, leaving no trace of his existence. Drake Kramer's disappearance stands as an enigma, an unsolved puzzle that continues to perplex and mystify those who dare to venture into the mystique of the Grand Canyon. In the land of awe-inspiring beauty and ancient secrets, the echoes of his vanishing whisper throughout the canyons. Challenging the world to uncover the truth behind his inexplicable disappearance. In the heart of the rugged Grand Canyon National Park, a mystery unfolded on June 2, 2015, shrouding the mighty Colorado River. Morgan Elias Heimer, a 22-year-old river guide hailing from Cody, Wyoming, embarked on a fateful voyage, leaving behind a haunting question that lingers to this day. Morgan, a student of English at the University of Wyoming, was no stranger to the great outdoors. He possessed the spirit of an intrepid adventurer, coupled with the skills of an experienced river guide and the strength of an excellent swimmer. Little did he know 
that his life would take a perilous turn on that ill-fated day. The journey down the Colorado River had been an eight-day odyssey. Under the banner of Tor West, a commercial rafting company, on the sixth day of their expedition, as the group navigated the Mindering River, Morgan's presence suddenly evaporated like a wisp of mist. He simply vanished, swallowed by the unforgiving currents. What makes this disappearance all the more baffling is the mysterious circumstances surrounding it. Morgan had expressed a desire to take some personal time that afternoon. In the wilderness of the Grand Canyon, such a request was not unusual. However, as he communicated his intentions to the lead guide and stepped away, a peculiar chain of events unfolded. When the guide returned his gaze towards the spot where Morgan had stood mere moments before, he found only emptiness. The young river guide had vanished into thin air. Intriguingly, the guide initially assumed that Morgan had merely taken a break, a presumption that would later haunt him as he realized that his colleague had truly disappeared. It was during dinner when Morgan failed to join his companions that the chilling reality set in. Panic gripped the group, and at 7.26 p.m. that evening, a member of the river trip reported Morgan missing. Describing his attire and belongings, searchers noted that Morgan was clad in a dark-colored astral personal flotation device, a blue plaid long sleeve shirt, Chaco flip-flops, a maroon baseball cap, and brightly colored shorts. He carried a conspicuous purple water bottle, making him stand out even more in the rugged wilderness. Search and rescue teams, accompanied by vigilant park rangers, embarked on an exhaustive quest for Morrigan. The search spanned the river's turbulent waters, scouring the territory between river miles. They ventured onto the unforgiving train of land, extending their efforts from River Mile, the vicinity of Pumpkin Springs. As hope dwindled, the search area expanded to Diamond Creek, a remote location 12 miles west of Pumpkin Springs. In their quest for answers, investigators turned to Morgan's fellow employees at Tor West, the clients who had shared the river with him, and other river outfitters and their Patreons. Despite the relentless efforts, the canyon held onto its secrets, revealing no trace of the spirited young man who had disappeared without a trace. The prevailing theory was that Morgan had met a watery grave within the Colorado River's depths. However, the circumstances surrounding his inexplicable vanishing continued to confound those who dared to ponder the mysteries concealed within the Grand Canyon's formidable embrace. Morgan Elias Heimer's disappearance remains an unsolved enigma, a haunting question mark etched in the annals of the Colorado River's history. In the heart of this majestic abyss, where secrets are buried beneath layers of unforgiving stone, the darkness conceals more than just the depths of the chasm. It hides the answers to the unsolved mysteries the chilling stories of those who dared to enter and became lost to the Grand Canyon.